since I've seen you. You have more edges than usual. It's okay. Josh. And I'm Jalen. <laughs> and today we're reviewing Ready Player One. <laughs> this is directed by Steven Spielberg. It's about a boy. It's in the future, like 2045, I think. They have this VR system called the Oasis where they go into this virtual world where you can do like anything you want. And basically the goal of this movie is the maker of the game has these three keys that lead to the golden egg that the players have to find. If they find it, they get complete control of the Oasis. There's this corporation who goes against this guy who are trying to find the golden egg themselves, and that's the plot of this movie. It's pure Steven Spielberg it 80s is action adventure. As much Steven Spielberg as you could possibly get in a movie. But I liked that. I was kind of not feeling this movie. <laughs> I feel like there were so many things in this movie that have been done before. I did like the cheesiness of Steven Spielberg. I did feel that in this movie, but I just did not feel invested throughout this movie. I just felt like it was really simple. In my opinion, without the nostalgia and all the 80s references, I feel like this movie would have been like nothing. I liked this movie yeah. quite a bit. You are right that nostalgia shouldn't carry a movie. It did add to it a lot, I felt. Yeah, but I do think that a lot of it is Steven Spielberg paying homage to his own films from the 80s, and that's since true. he's doing it, I think that's okay. The nostalgia enhances the movie, but the movie has a strong enough plot on its own to carry itself. I get what you're saying, though. I liked how they chose like this movie to be more about like something that viewers could like relate to in like the future because in today like a lot of things are going more towards like technology so i liked mm -hmm. how like people could be like okay that's not too unrealistic like semi-relatable but still like <laughs> yeah. fantasy enough to watch with the whole nostalgia bit they were very 80s centric and then guess what overwatch is here my little nerd heart was racing the whole time i'm like <laughs> it's my thing look at it <laughs> but it just didn't really help it with the whole period sort of thing they were yeah. going for this is kind of random, but the entire time I kept laughing at the sight of these kind of goggles because like <laughs> my sisters had recently bought a ton of these. It was just a really odd thing to think about. Like they're like, wow, look at these things that you guys have these days and how a new world can be made from it. But they're mm -hmm. just goggles. The plot was basically just a video game I felt like the entire time. One thing that I just <laughs> didn't really understand is that today games graphics are like literally almost like close to realism it just took me out of the movie like seeing all the characters with their cg faces and like cg models because i feel like at that period of time in the future i feel like graphics would be just so much more realistic i felt like having it being our current time that sort of video game appearance that helped really create a fine line between the real world yeah. and the video game world i wasn't very fond of the main character I didn't mm, no. really feel he didn't invested really stand in him. Out. But I think that was maybe a point, though, that he was just yeah, an average guy. Yeah. yeah. But he's the lead character in the movie, and I feel like every other character around him is oh, way sure. more interesting than he is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I agree with that. I do think that they're trying to be like, hey, look at this. Anybody can be anything. One thing that bugged me about this movie was a romantic like storyline. I could not stand it. I just thought it was so cheesy and so like overdone. And I understand that's kind of like a Steven Spielberg thing. I just felt like it didn't need to be there. I felt like she would have been fine if she was just like a friend of his. You guys didn't like the villain, right? I hated the villain. Stereotypical, yeah. like, CEO I... of an evil company yeah. that wants to overthrow something. E. That is like... But see, I feel like that's kind of paying homage to yeah. E.T. Because that's We're... his own movie, that's true. Sometimes I would like him, sometimes yeah. I wouldn't. Yeah. It was just juggling. Yeah. We're going to spoilers. Go to the time code at the bottom of the yeah. screen if you Don't want to avoid spoilers. Don't get super heated if you get something spoiled for you after we said that there are spoilers. That <coughs> Coco review. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Just
they had to go through the shiny. The shiny. Yeah, that was, that was yeah. so that was entertaining. Fun. Until we got to the zombies. Yeah, I didn't like that. Yeah, I did but not like that. I loved seeing the twins in the hallway. The race was really cool. I like how they had the Akira motorcycle. I'm like, I haven't even seen Akira, oh, but yeah. wow, there it goes. Yeah. What I liked the most about this movie was like towards the end when what was the creator's name? I really enjoyed yeah. that I character. character. I think they developed him really well. And I absolutely loved how this whole movie is like focused around this game and about like mm -hmm. winning this game and getting everything. And at the end, the biggest message is like, I made a mistake because I should have been living my life. Like, don't miss your chance. I really did enjoy like the puzzles that they had to decipher to like find out where to go next. I really did like the stages of the journey that they had to go through. I definitely liked how like it was all about the ways in the video game that like everything reflected the creator's life. I liked how they had those like sensor suits where they like if they were touched in the game, they mm -hmm. could feel it in the real world like I, I really like I that. have like one issue with that if you're gonna go fight why would you leave that on Dude, <laughs> why do you no. want to feel that I, what happened to the people who didn't have treadmills when they were playing because you True. see them just running down the streets what if they ran into a wall or something? That's a good I wish they would have shown that, like someone like running down the street. Yeah, yeah. but it's also like the people who are playing in their homes. Yeah. So like, where do they go? Yeah. How do they move? How do they walk? Yeah, there's just like some logic things that are a little weird. One thing that I liked was when they tricked the CEO guy into being in the Oasis thinking oh, yeah. he was in the real world. Like oh, that's yeah. what I was talking about when I was saying like I would have liked to see more realism in the Oasis so there was like confusion with what's real and what's like not real. Mm -hmm. Because I really liked that when they were trying to trick him. The black female character. I, I could tell that the orc was going to be the sassy black woman. From no, but right before we found out that it wasn't really like a guy or something, I leaned over to my dad and I go, it's gonna be a girl, it's gonna be a girl. And it was. Yeah, yeah. I'm sitting next to my brother, I'm like, okay, there's a sassy black woman in the trailers. So this is gonna be the sassy black woman. Yeah. <laughs> then she won! <laughs> Should we go to final verdicts? Yeah. yeah. I went into this movie not expecting it to make that much sense. I did enjoy it. There are some flaws with it. I think I'm gonna go a 5.5. Uh, before I came here, I was thinking about giving this movie a lower score, but since we've talked about it more and since I've thought about like actually some of the things that have made this movie like enjoyable, I'm gonna give it a little higher score. I do feel like there's a lot of cliche stuff in there. Yeah, without the nostalgia, it wouldn't be as good, but I mean, it's there. I do think there's rewatchability in this movie for people who are fans of video games in general. When I saw the trailers, I was really hoping that this would be something bigger than it turned out to be, because I was expecting it to be amazing. And I guess I set my expectations too high. So I'm gonna give this movie a 5.5 as well. When I first watched this movie and walked out, I literally said, it's a three. <laughs> I was <laughs> not impressed. I did not like it. I just was not a fan. I didn't like the ending as much, like the very end. I thought they kind of closed it very quickly and it was just like cliche, like bang, bang, bang. I was like, oh. But I really enjoyed when they started explaining like the creator of the Oasis. I liked how they went back and looked at the files. I liked how this whole thing was his creation and I liked how it was his world. I didn't like the whole thing, there was a lot of problems with it, but I really enjoyed how they developed his character. I'm gonna give it a 5.5. I like this movie a bit more than all of these other people. <laughs> I think this movie is classic Steven Spielberg, clever action adventure nostalgic fun. There are some issues with it in terms of cliches, I will acknowledge that, but I honestly think since it's Steven Spielberg paying homage to his own movies, and since a lot of those cliches haven't really been around since the 80s, I personally think it's okay. It didn't bother me. Maybe it would bother some people, but I really think this movie is just a solid action adventure fun I got a kick out of it. I'll give it a seven. During the movie, all the nostalgia and cliche-ness didn't really bother me personally. It bothered me more whenever I was looking back on it. I also personally would have enjoyed more female representation in this movie, but that's just me. And I enjoyed the graphics a lot too, and so I'd give this a six. The final verdict is a 5.9. I'd rewatch it. Yeah, I kind of so, want to rewatch it. I mean, it. there is rewatchability in this movie, but it was just a little cliche for me. So what did you think about uh, Ready Player One? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Comment and let us know. And do not forget to subscribe to High School Film Nerds. Peace out! Do you feel this? No. Yes, you do. No, I can't. Wait. Wait, where are you? Jalen, I'm gay. Oh. <laughs>